Increasingly, motorcycles are being seen as rich boys' toys. Playthings for those chaps who spend 30 grand on the latest top-line sports bike that will be lucky to see 500 miles before it's put away for the winter. Yet for most of us, that isn't the case. Most of us are limited by budget. To some, the thought of spending a fortune on a plaything doesn't make much sense. For others, their chosen ride has to mix weekends of pleasure with the midweek commute. That's where a brand new mid-sized budget bike could be their perfect partner. You're watching Dazzle Rebel Rides and this is a list of top 10 mid-size budget bikes of 2017. So, full disclosure before we continue, I did a similar video to this last year where the budget was £6,000. However, due to price increases, mostly due to the weakness of the pounds on the global market, it has made it near enough impossible to find 10 decent mid-sized motorbikes for less than six grand. Moving up to six and a half opens up the market quite a bit. So for 2017, that's exactly what I've done. If you're not watching this in 2017, no problem. If there's a more recent version of this list, click the i button for the link here. Number 10, Hyosung GV650P Aquila. £4,299. Based on Suzuki's bulletproof 650V twin, the GV650 is by far and away the jewel in the Hyosung lineup. The laid back cruiser styling, sweet handling, and low seat make it a great bike for the vertically challenged or cruiser lovers who want an everyday ride they can abuse all year. It might be knocking on a bit, but it's still a great buy. Royal Enfield Continental GT, £5,199. Classic Cool can be yours for a little over five grand. The Continental GT will turn heads and full Joe public and even casual bikers into thinking it's a genuine classic. Of course, as the more knowledgeable bikers know, you only need to look a little harder before you see the telltale signs of a more modern machine. With Royal Enfield expanding operations, it can't be too much longer before the aging Continental DT is replaced with a newer model. Kawasaki Vulcan S650, 6,299 quid. Based on the fantastic ER6's parallel twin motor, the Vulcan S is more flattened city bike than stylish cruiser. Still, it's a great bike for the short of stature who are looking for a mild-mannered machine that will do the job as a commuter or serve as an introduction to feet forward riding. Number 7. Harley Davidson Street 750. £5,995. It might not be made in the USA, but it still has that famous Harley Davidson badge on the tank, and that's enough to include it on this list. Sure, the styling is a blatant riff on Sons of Anarchy custom diners, but that's what makes it cool for the casual onlooker. Ask a non-biker to name a motorcycle brand, and 99 out of 100 will more likely say Harley Davidson. Number 6. Honda CB500X. £5,599. Honda's perky A2 friendly machine comes in many guises, but the best is the CB500X. A physically bigger bike than the other CB500s, its longer trail suspension soaks up pothole roads with ease. That little engine might not be the most powerful, but it will carry you along at a decent pace. Build quality is a little cheap, and because it's a Honda, you will pay more for the privilege. Number 5. Honda NC750S. £6,249. Like the CB500, the NC750 is available in a number of suits. The S is probably the safest fit for all sizes. Again, you are paying over the odds to have Honda emblazoned on the false tank. That is in fact a nifty storage area, but that's because they have built up a great reputation for reliability over the years. The engine is smooth and economical, but does little to excite. 
and that's why it will only reach number five on this list. Number four, Kawasaki Ninja 650. 6,349 quid. All new for 2017, the Ninja 650 closes the styling gap with Kawasaki Super Sport and Super Bike ZX range. It might still be based on an updated and lower peak powered version of the outgoing ER6, but the chassis and suspension are all new. The big question here though is does it command the same level of respect that the legendary Kawasaki Ninja name suggests? The simple answer is nah. It is still a simple parallel twin producing little over 60 horsepower, and the suspension might be new, but it's also cheap and underdamped. It's still an nifty bike though, and the updated styling will no doubt fall many into thinking it's a significantly more powerful machine. Kawasaki Z650, 6,099 smackers. Why Kawasaki never killed the ER6, the Z650, is anyone's guess. Sure, the ER6 was an evolution of the ER5 platform, but it was a huge leap forward in terms of chassis design. The 2017 Z650 might have an all new frame and suspension, but it's not the same level of improvement over the ER6 that the ER6 was to the ER5. Got it? Good. I had high hopes for the Z650. As an ER6 rider, I was secretly hoping that the new Z would do the business very well. In fact, I was hoping it would be enough to earn top honours in this list. But alas, good as it is, it's not good enough to knock number two off its perch. Number two, Yamaha MT-07, £6,099. The 2017 MT-07 will cost you £700 more than it did a year ago. That is just crazy, especially for a bike that is ultimately unchanged. It is still a brilliant little hooligan bike that will power wheelie in second and cause you to grin like a monkey when darting around the urban jungle. Likewise though, the suspension is still soft and the seat too hard. And without a decent aftermarket end can, it still sounds like a Singer sewing machine. The MT-07 is brilliant at being a stroppy teenager, break dancing with saggy pants, but it will make you moan like a grandad if you pile on the motorway miles. Great bike, just not a great all-rounder. Number 1. Suzuki SV650. £5,699. The engine is the key to the SV's brilliance. With 75 horsepower on tap and a broad spread of torque, even seasoned bikers will find themselves grinning ear to ear as they blast through the urban streets. It's economical too, with many reports of owners seeing 75 miles per gallon when ridden less spiritedly. Sure, it starts to run out of puff higher in the rev range, and acceleration is significantly less sharp after 100 miles an hour, but that's not what this bike is about. It's designed to appeal to new and returning riders who want a fun bike that will deliver plenty of thrills without being too much of a handful. And to seasoned bikers looking for a responsive and nimble commuter that will also play with the bigger boys at the weekend. Out of the box, it's a well-functioning but pretty basic bike, but that gives it potential for customization. Suzuki have a great selection of accessories that will turn the classic looking SV into a pseudo retro racer. Sexy. So for the second year running, the Suzuki SV650 pulls it out of the bag and retains top honours in the list of top 10 mid-sized budget bikes. But what do you think? I'm sure if you're under the age of 20, the styling of the MT-07 or Z650 will speak to you. If you're an iron butt affectionado, the NC750 will be more your cup of chamomile tea. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And remember, if you like the vibe, be sure to subscribe. Bleep, 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 bleep